ring too. <laughs> Nobody wins when the shit with the Gucci, that shit was perfect to me. Had to run off with them pack, cause it was worth it to me. Money don't make you ready, hoes don't make you play. Money stacked up in lens. I ain't finna stand up like I just popped out of blue rapping, and that was my first record. So I really didn't get no attention in. Yeah. It fell to the bottom of the shelf. Then I dropped where it is, which was the day they diss. And then folks like, oh, he rapping for real. With a lot of hoes, oh. young nigga with a bankroll. Scrape the pot, I was in the hood. My mama stayed on Glenwood. At 11, an Atlanta rapper posting video of his arrest on Instagram. It happened just a few hours ago. Marquavis Goolsby, who also goes by his stage name, Day Day, was wanted for stabbing a teenage Duncan worker last December. He's now facing a charge of aggravated assault after he and the teen started fighting at the store in Union City. The incident was all caught on surveillance video. Police say he was upset because Duncan didn't have the food he wanted. The employee will be okay. Breaking news now out of DeKalb County. Police are investigating a deadly shooting that spans across two separate scenes. Officers say someone opened fire on a man outside of Club Blaze on Moreland Avenue. That victim drove away, they say, parked his car and then- It's a couple stories I wanted to bring to you guys' attention today, family. And in this video, we're gonna talk about a young man who was loved in Atlanta. He was also a rapper to go by the name of Triple Up KO. Now, unfortunately, he came to his demise while sitting in his car inside of a parking lot of a booty club and end up coming to his demise while driving just a mile away to a local gas station trying to escape the scene. Now, the strange thing on that day, within an hour, it was three shootings. Authorities say, as of now, it's not connected, but they still under investigation. So in this video, we're going to talk about that situation. Also talk about all three shootings within an hour, not to mention pay our respects to the victim. Also, we're going to briefly talk about some of his accomplishments while being a rapper and elaborate on a public feud he had with another rapper who was also a close friend of his. We also going to have the privilege to hear from Triple Up KO in a local interview that he had at a radio station in Atlanta. So before we go over this one, remember family, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Triple Up KO was a man in his 30s who was also a dad from Zone 3 in Lakewood of Atlanta. Under a rock who haven't seen to come up, let them know who you are, where you from. Oh, yo, 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 what's cracking this kid? Triple up, KO, you did? I'm from Lakewood, you know, Zone 3 Atlanta. He was known to affiliate with himself with another Atlanta rapper that go by the name of Day Day. Now, Day Day was known for his hit single, What You Mean, Family to Feed, that was released seven years ago that have over 69 million views and counting. A lot of hoes, oh. young nigga with a bankroll. Straight to pot, I was in the hood. My mama stayed on Glenwood. Now, speaking of Glenwood, around 2013, 21 Savage had ended up getting shot around six times alongside his friend. Ironically, it was 21 Savage's 21st birthday. Thank God he survived, but unfortunately, his best friend, Johnny B., came to his demise may rest in peace where you got shot yeah i can tell you shit like that i got shot in my arm my arm again my collarbone my neck my hand and my finger so how many times six now for someone that's never been shot before what does that feel like It's like, it's a third person feeling. You see it happening. It's like, when when you getting shot, it ain't like you feel it. It's more like you watching it happen to you. You get what I'm saying? It's like yo, my, my, my soul came out of my body and I was watching myself get hit. And to the public looking in, at the very early stages of Day Day career, it looked as if though, Triple Up KO was the muscle. Now the reason we talked about that situation, because back in 2013 and 2014, they had unfortunately been connected to that situation, though no charges was made, and 21 Savage would go on to become one of the biggest artists in the world, and Day Day career would take a plummet. But shortly after that incident, it seems that Day Day would end up getting dissed by his muscle, Triple Up KO. It seems he started to rap and dropped the music video as a diss to Day Day. Four years ago, he dropped a track called Where It Is, which is the day they diss. This track managed to get over 340,000 views and counting. Trying to ride my way, wanna go surfing with me. I fucked around and whooped that little baby, I burnt him dinner. Now, Day Day career was going on a decline, and to the public's eye, he didn't even respond. He would later get locked up, and the story we'll later elaborate on in this video. 
But listen to Triple Up KO explain why he ended up dissing his once friend Day Day. Then I was like, like, I just popped out of blue rapping, and that was my first record. So I really didn't get no attention in. Yeah. It fell to the bottom of the shelf. Then I dropped Where It Is, which was the Day Day diss. And then folks were like, oh, he rapping for real now. You feel yeah. me? They still went focusing. So it was just like, damn, what I gotta do? Rico kept saying, man, that shit slime. Like, you gotta do something. You gotta do drop something and catch their attention. Your, your bud down there. So, so, <laughs> so did, 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 did the day they just give you the what you was looking for? Or was it just something you did and you just slid by? I slid by with that one. I slid by with that one. But everybody was just like, it was just so hard. And the video was just so like organic, like you yeah. were saying, it was like I was just in the hood. They they lighted it. They ain't even look at it for the diss. They ain't look at it as no diss or none of that. Yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie, it, it took me like three or four times to listen to it before. And then Plug was like, you know what he's talking about? I was like, nobody I ain't never know. know. I ain't never know, know one nigga with green dress for So, so, so like, ain't, I ain't, ain't kill that. He ain't do what I set it out to do. Yeah. But it still gained a little momentum. It still gained a little bud. It did, but it didn't. It did, it but did, it didn't. It did because once you sit down and you say, okay, damn, he talking about somebody that we know. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily like he not the biggest figure in the land, but it's like, okay, we kind of know this nigga. Like, what's Fact. going on with these niggas? For sure. Why, you know what I'm saying? Why this nigga who just came out of nowhere talking about this nigga? Like, what the Fact. fuck they got going on? <laughs> so it's just. I mean, if you want to touch on it, we can touch on it. If not, we're not gonna touch on it. It's up to you. It ain't really shit. I really just don't like how folk be having something going on. They ain't making sure everybody around them good. See me, I really didn't need no handout. Yeah. Personally, but your your best friend back working at Popeyes and shit like that. Like you supposed to did that shit for everybody around you. Like your goal when just go and get you some money. Now my goal gonna be it, go and get everybody some money. Put everybody I mean, but you, in the situation. But, you, but you, you do that before even getting on. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you done came by the DJ booth. I done seen you tip people and you know what I'm saying? So I done seen you take care of niggas and, and, and you always got your peoples with you. So it's like, yeah, you know, you can kind of get that sense of, of how that shit work. But. And then like, I be trying to see like why other nigga don't think like that, bro. Like he, like that type of nigga, he the type of nigga I want all the paper. But when you get locked up, you get jammed, who the hell you gonna call? You get what I'm saying? Like, I know right now, bro, like, if I got a, a budget for something that say 10,000, yeah. I'm finna finesse Rico. Rico again, he already know he <laughs> in on it. You come in and say, this y'all this price right here, 10,000. Rico gonna be like, man, how we gonna come up with that, bro? We gotta come up with that shit, though. Yeah. You feel me? He already gonna take on that responsibility. Yeah. So when I get that money, I know them folks sit down and say, hey, man, we got y'all two million. I'm like, damn, Rico, we got 500,000 a piece, and we got a million for the budget. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it, it, this though. already come that's out, right? Though, I don't know. But that shit, but see, that shit, that, that shit right there, not everybody built. Like, see, that's one thing I understand about the industry. Not everybody built like that. Shout out to DJ Grams. If you guys want to check that full interview out, you guys should go over there and check it out. Now, Day Day would drop more music, but it didn't live up to the hype of his first single. And a couple months after the Triple Up KO interview, it seems that Day Day would get arrested after having a warrant issue for an incident that happened Saturday, December 5th on 2020. An altercation that began in the drive through According to the police report, it states that Day Day was in a red Ford or Audi when he got upset because he didn't get a full item that he wanted at the Dunkin' Donut. Day Day allegedly drove away, then came back shortly after 6 p.m. He entered the Dunkin' location where he began yelling at a teen who was 17 years old and a female and they began to argue. One thing led to another. The young lady, unfortunately, was stabbed up multiple times, allegedly, by Day Day. Now, thank God she survived. Day Day was having a warrant and get arrested at his home the next day. This girl attacked on a job at Duncan by a customer. It was all over an order of food, and now police want to track him down because he is a violent person who might injure someone else. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens walks us through what happened in a warning. This video is absolutely disturbing. Union City police are desperately searching for this man. The surveillance video shows the suspect stabbing a teenage employee multiple times. This happened at the Dunkin' Donuts on State Route 138 Saturday evening. As she screams and tries to get away, he yells out obscenities while chasing her around the store, slinging a knife. Other employees watch in horror. Officer Jerome Turner says it all started in the drive through They attempted to order uh, something that was on the menu but was not available. Um, they became very upset. 
uh, that the item was not in stock or wasn't available. The staff told police the man became irate and a verbal altercation began when he pulled around to the drive through window. Police say the staff refused service and the suspect drove off in a red Audi with the woman in the passenger seat. And then returned a few minutes later, uh, just the male subject, which at that time he entered the store, got into another verbal altercation with the uh, employees. The employee uh, that was working uh, came around the counter uh, to ask him to leave, at which point he refused to leave. And then, of course, uh, he pulled out a knife. And that's when he started to stab the teen repeatedly. Police says she has defensive wounds and two cuts on her arm. It's very unfortunate, and I mean, it, it could have been something fatal. Police say it was a traumatic experience for all employees. Well, the teen and her family are not quite ready to talk about this violent attack, but I did speak with the family's attorney, Kamal Manson, and he sent us a statement. It reads in part, we are concerned for her safety and well-being, and our office is in the process of investigating the matter. My office is happy to work with the police in any way we can, and we'll certainly continue to follow this story. Over donuts. The firm representing Duncan sent us a statement saying, in part, the safety of their employees is a top priority. They are aware of this incident and they are cooperating with local authorities. Here's another look at the suspect Union City Police are now looking for. They want to get him. And we also have this picture posted on our story about this Duncan on 11 Alive News. Now, since this incident, Triple Up KO really haven't been releasing music. But on May 20th, 2023, DeKalb County Police was investigating three shooting incidents from the same night, all within the same hour. Officers responded to the first shooting call at 11.20 p.m. Friday. Upon arrival, first responders discovered a man who had been fatally shot along Flat Shoals Parkway and Columbia Drive. Detectives were called to the scene to assist with the investigation. Just 27 minutes later, police received reports of another person shot near Moreland Avenue and Cedar Grove Road. When officers arrived, they found the man, believed to be in his 30s, deceased in the vehicle. Initial information suggests that the incident started in the parking lot of Club Blaze. He wasn't identified at the time, but due to his heavy social media presence, it turned out to be, rest in peace, triple up, KO. Morning, police are trying to find out who shot and killed a man in a club parking lot. Let's take you out to DeKalb County, where police tell us a little after 11, the victim was sitting in his car in the parking lot of Club Blaze. That's when they say the suspect walked up to him and shot him. The victim drove to the Shell gas station on Moreland and Cedar Grove Drive, where he died. So far, police are not yet releasing the victim's identity. The third shooting report came at 12, 12 a.m. 25 minutes later after the second call, officers responded to the 2500 block of Columbia Road, where they found a man in his 20s who appeared to be grazed by a bullet. Authorities claim this victim was robbed prior to getting shot. Fam, as more information come out, and if anything is connected, I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. But that was the story of a local rapper in Atlanta who was unfortunately gunned down in his own hometown. Let me know how you guys feel about this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one.